Ladies and gentlemen, cast out on the batting! Give me a hell yeah! Ow! Excellent. Fellas, how are we doing today? I appreciate you stopping by. Can you hear me? Howdy. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, sorry, we're doing this on my phone, so it's kind of not great. No, no worries. Uh, gentlemen, could you please properly introduce yourself, let us know whereabouts in the world you are right now, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Uh, yeah, my name's Gabriel. I'm uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado, or we're here in Colorado Springs, Colorado right now. Um, and uh, I'm in Castell. Yep. And uh, yeah, I'm Zach. Uh, yeah, obviously we we live together, so we're chilling at the house in Gabe's uh, vibe chamber. Um, and uh, yeah, I play bass in Castell. The vibe I, chamber, I dude. I bass. like the sound of that. The vibe chamber. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, can you also toss out all your social media links real quick so people know where to follow you that may be watching that happen to enjoy your music? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, just Castel Band. Yeah, Castel Band. And for pretty much uh, anything, yeah. yeah. At Castel Band. For TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, <laughs> other stuff, maybe. Um, might have Twitter. For sure. We're having a little bit of lag on your guys' uh, end for video, but we're still making it work. How'd you come up with the the band name? Um, well, I was playing a game on the Nintendo 3DS called Fantasy Life, and uh, there is a town called Castell, um, and I think we were just trying to come up with a name, and uh, I was playing that game, like Tomas, our guitar player, walked in the room and uh, he was like, "Like, man, we gotta come up with the name fast. And I was like, all right, let's do this. And we all like the sound of it. Oh yeah, cool. Um, so, uh, but before that, we- That was that. Yeah. Easy enough. Before we, we, we play your, uh, your guys' music, how often do you get compared to and does it piss you off or do you find it to be a compliment? when people say you guys sound like movements? I think that's a compliment. Uh, yeah, I, I take that as a compliment for sure. I, I yeah. would consider it a compliment. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. We've, we've definitely heard it a couple of times. Yeah. Heck yeah. Um, let's jam Witch's Flower, which I think is the first song I ever heard from you guys. But earlier today, I kind of did a deep dive and just went through all five of these right here. There wasn't a single track I skipped. I enjoyed all five of them. So if you're watching, do you guys self a favor and click the follow button right now and support them. You will not be sorry you did. What is Witch's Flower about, though? Uh, Witch's Flower is about being stuck in uh, depressive episodes and trying to find your way out of them. Interesting. Dealing with, like everything that comes along with that like anxiety and uh like suicidal thoughts and stuff like that i don't think i don't think i would have ever thought that based on the title of the song is there another unique cool story for how the title of the song came about um the title like uh many of our songs actually uh is completely unrelated and um i was just watching uh this movie uh called mary and the witch's flower and uh it's like a studio ghibli-esque movie so i just decided to name it that but yeah it really has nothing to do with the title like that has nothing to do with the song or anything like that for sure let's jam which is flower which is uh get played gets played all the time in my house i love this song while we're jamming this, if you guys could, could you possibly leave and then come right back in? Because it's, it's, I'm barely able to see you. Like, it, it like freezes for like 10 seconds, but I can hear you the whole time, but the video quality is yeah. kind of rough. Just to, maybe we can fix What's it a little bit. No doubt. What, what, uh, what would you say is a couple of artists that you guys jam on a regular basis that, that just naturally influences the music you make? 
there's a lot. Uh, I mean, we all, every band member has their own individual influences and, and whatnot. And so I can really only, um, speak for myself, but, uh, personally bands like, uh, Circa survive, um, second favorite band personally. Yeah, they've definitely been a huge influence, and Anthony has been a huge influence on me um, vocally, and um, so that that would probably be my my biggest influence, and has been for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. For me, it's like like Gabe said, like every member kind of brings something different to the table as far as like their background and influences, and like I I come from more almost like an indie rock background. Like I've been in this like indie rock band since like high school, basically. Um, still in it, but like, so I didn't come from as much of like, like the emo, like post hardcore background as the rest of the dudes. However, I've been since joining Castell, I've been like more and more into that. Um, like for like bass for me personally, like one thing that did kind of actually funnily enough, get me more into like the heavier side of things was like tool funnily enough. Um, I love tool and like the bass parts of tool are just cool as fuck. And I started learning all that shit. And I and I got really into like math rock and stuff. So I have a lot of like kind of more like mathy influences. Um, I like really crazy bass lines. Also, I don't know. I love Elephant Gym too, as far as like tapping bass lines and stuff like that. Um, and then yeah, I don't know. More like recent influences have been bands like like Spirit Box and um, fucking. Oh, what's the other one? I'm spacing, but uh, yeah, that's kind of like at least my influence slash background i guess i'm gonna take a wild guess behind your right shoulder is that a mini grow setup <laughs> I, okay i see the blue light and I, I i feel like there could be some plants or something back there yeah Dude, go keep keep going to the right keep them. going to the right though behind this curtain over here there's a there's a curtain or something uh, Oh, it's a TV. Nice, it's a TV. Uh, From the angle, it looked like a curtain, and like there was something behind it because I saw the glowing blue light, and I was like, "Oh, this got to be like a little grow okay. or something right there." <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, Just LED in my TV. <laughs> no doubt. Um, I do want to do some trivia with you guys. You told me that you did bring some hot sauce. Can I can I see the hot sauces you have ahead of time? Just All right. I will I will show you. Uh, I brought out four of them. They're all stupid hot, and I never eat any of them because they're stupid hot. Um, but all right, hold on. I got my friends right here. I got a, I got sixteen of my friends right here. So, shit, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. So, I've got your classic hot ones, the last dab, fantastic or whatever that. I've never yeah, tried that, that one. Good. It's good. I like it. It's kind of has like a mustardy kind of flavor to it. Like it actually tastes good, which is nice. Um, this fire water one, you can see that. Sorry, yeah. the camera angle is probably fire good. water. Hell yeah, uh, that one's decent. Um, and I have this one, which is terrible, and I hate it, and I never ever eat it. I don't even know if you can see the. It's like yeah, it says yeah. ghost pepper. I see it. Yeah, it, it looks like it's gonna uh, be yeah, hot. Um, and then the only other one I have, it's literally, it's not even a bottle. Yeah. And I, like, it's, it's terrible. It's worse than the other last dad. And I saved it and I put it in this, like, this was once a little cup <laughs> for salsa from this is when you want to just Mexican somebody that comes over and you're like this dude's being a dick yeah, let's totally. put let's put a little it's something funny. in his spaghetti real quick <laughs> yeah it's funny because it's like it's from this like local place that we have in colorado called taco star and um like you know they give you like a red sauce with it and i put it back in this but then i put these little x's on there just so like no one in the house accidentally was like oh that's red sauce from taco star and <laughs> and uh put my burrito and and then died and then died <laughs> we don't want that uh, so the way the yeah. trivia works is, since you got the hot sauce ready, you have the choice of the trivia. So you get to pick okay. the topic. I need to know what movie or TV show you've seen the most. You guys can mutually agree. You'll have one guess each. 
but you can only be one topic. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? Or if I ask you trivia about it, you will not get it wrong. It could be anything from Simpsons, Terminator, Harry Potter. Doesn't matter. It can be a Netflix show. Doesn't matter. You guys discuss. I'm going to jam Adventurer real quick. Oh, and Xavier. Xavier says he misses you guys so much in chat. Aw. Tom, we miss it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Hell yeah. And it then uh, and then Queen Lizzie, who's also in chat, said she saw you guys in July and bought a t-shirt and she has it on right now. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Thank just you. some, yeah, just some uh, people in chat throwing some love your guys way. Um, did, awesome. did you pick a, a topic? Um, what about, all right, we're still, we're still thinking, we're trying to find like between the both of us, a mutual thing that we both watched. Um, you can have more time. Don't say- worry. There's no rush. So, uh, Jenny and Chad also wants to know if, uh, Gabe, if you watch Sony state of play today, she sees the PlayStation t-shirt. No, I didn't. I didn't actually. I'm a uh, I'm a fake fan. Um, <laughs> no, no, I did not watch it. Um, Fair enough. I'm an Xbox guy, so I would never watch that that garbage. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, did you guys pick the topic, or can you toss out? Just tell me which ones you both you kind of narrowed it down to, and maybe I can just help you out in that category. I feel like Sunny. Yeah. Are you sure? Sure. All right. I'll well, try my best. You, you know, it's always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. You got it. Give- All right, gentlemen, here we go. Your first attempt. In It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, what was Sweet D's nickname in high school? Oh, God damn it. Uh, oh, fucking. I should know. It's, it's not Bird. Because uh, she had the, like, the leg brace mm-hmm. things. Oh, damn it. You it's it's it. not Wussy Hands, Rickety Cricket, or Fatty Magoo. It's not any of those, if you were thinking those. Probably not Fatty Magoo, that's right. Um, wasn't it? It's Bro, the, to... it's the something something. I have no idea. Oh, God. It, I know it has to do with her, like, uh, fucking leg brace, arm brace things. God damn it. You're on the right track. I know. Uh, it's like the something. That's a start. Got we got him. <laughs> Fellas, enjoy the hot sauce. I'm going to jam, jam some Dreamscape. Enjoy the hot sauce. I'm just going like... to. I'll do some with you, though. Don't worry. Yeah. I feel to make it fun, I'm going to go with the ghost pepper one. Cheers. Hold on tight, we fly by night as the city lights blow as fate to insignificance. The skyline reaches down to guide us to caress with the slightest touch. Snow falls to cover everything in sight and sound soon follows after. Now, I noticed that um, most of your guys' stuff is 2019. I imagine COVID dampered uh, touring and stuff like that to an extent, but can we expect new stuff in the future, coming soon? Uh, very soon. Very, very soon, yeah. Can you give uh, us any... any? I know sometimes it's all, you know, uh, the way you market everything, blah, 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 and, and people don't want to give away the juice, the good stuff, but is there any like little tidbits or leaks you can give us? I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, we just got, um, we're, we've been getting mixes back for a uh, record that is going to hopefully come out soon. It's um, got 10 songs on it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. Excellent. Yeah. The record itself won't probably be out until, I don't know, maybe summer next year, but we're releasing some singles. Um, so we got the mixes back for the first single that we're releasing. Um, and there'll also be a little video with that. It should be pretty cool. Sweet. Um, and you can expect that like very soon. Like, can't can't say a date, but I, we're going on tour next month and uh, should be around then. Where are you guys, uh, where are you guys touring at? 
uh, the like southeast part of the country, the Bible Belt kind of situation. Yeah. Um, like through Texas and Al- Alabama, right? We're playing those those states in Louisiana, Louisiana, Louisiana yeah. Florida. Um, cool. We're basically going to Florida and back. Yeah, because he's from Florida and Tomas. They're both from Florida, so. Who 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 did the uh, the recordings and was it someone separate for the mixing and mastering regarding the new the new album that's coming out? No, the new album was tracked and mixed and it will be mastered by the same person. His name's Adam Chahosky. Chahosky, yeah. How you pronounce his last name? Yeah, it's Timber Studios out of what's the city? Uh, New Newark. Based, yeah, Newark, almost New New York City. But how'd you how'd you link up with him? How'd you how'd you get a hold of that guy? He found us um, just, I don't remember exactly how it was through a, a Facebook ad or maybe he just found our Spotify or something, but he he found us and um, and wanted to work with us. Yeah. Very cool. Hell yeah. Really? Uh, we were talking briefly about video games. Um, clearly you met, uh, you got the name Castell from a video game. Toss out just two or three of the best video games ever made. Well, you you do yours first, and I'll do mine. Yeah. Okay. Because they're different, probably. I mean, we can agree on that. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh, I feel like one of the video games that made the biggest impact on me growing up was um, Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls and Bethesda games in general. Um, in ge- all of them, except for seventy six. Yeah. I, I didn't like seventy six. Yeah, I didn't either. Um, but um. Yeah, I've played a lot of them a lot. I've played them a lot. <laughs> and, um, and and yeah, so that's probably my answer for that one. Yeah. Um, I have a bit different taste in video games. I don't know. I, I'm more of like a first-person shooter slash realism slash, I don't know, I like racing and stuff too. But um, I would say like my all-time favorite video game is just like Battlefield, like the series in general. Like I started with like 1942 back in the day and always liked all those games so hell yeah. yeah but we both played during covid when the lockdown happened we were living together and me and him were on warzone oh yeah we and were we were absolutely destroying people in warzone so no yeah. no okay. call of duty mobile no uh, i've never <laughs> damn it no one ever plays that game i've been playing that game for like three years and rarely do i meet somebody that plays it but um That's- it's fun, is it? <laughs> it's amazing. It's 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 got Call of Duty maps from every Call of Duty. Um, oh, it's got guns from all of them. Battle Royale. It's got it's got everything you'd want, and it's completely free. You can play it anywhere. You just got to get used to kind of like doing all this stuff. That's fair. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty fun. Fellas, tell me about just the worst gig you ever played. As Castella, I don't know. I guess a side question would be: Have you guys both, just referring to you two, um, have you both been in an, a project together before this band? Well, kind of. Ish. So, um, Castell, essentially the same members of Castell were. We were another band um, called Opal, and um, we were like Midwest emo math rock kind of uh situation um where like i played the guitar and sang and whatnot and um and then our sound just ended up changing so much and we got like new band members and um the lineup changed and we were just totally different so so we were completely like rebranded ourselves i got and you. everything and yeah. then uh yeah. worst gig ever everything went wrong at this show uh, your string breaks in the first song. Uh, you can't hear each other. The the triggers aren't working. Just tell me, tell me the worst gig you ever had. We played some pretty bad. Yeah, shows. we played some bad shows. <laughs> <laughs> Multitude of bad shows with other bands and stuff. But um, I I mean I think like collectively we would all agree that the the shit that went wrong with I Met a Yeti that show. Oh yeah, that was that was pretty bad. That was, I mean, it, like it was a good show. Like I, I had it, like we, yeah, yeah. Like, basically, what happened was we were playing uh, at this venue called the Marquee in Denver, and we were playing with um, 
this band called I Met a Yeti. Um, I'm familiar with them. You are really, really good. They're a really cool band. And then Macari was headlining, and they're also a really cool band. And so we were really looking forward to this show and wanted to impress them. And um, just everything under the sun went wrong. Our light uh, rig completely messed up. Our backtracking stopped working. Uh, Tomas's guitar stopped working for like two songs. Um, it was just a complete disaster. I was having a freaking panic attack on stage and like, which, yeah, it was, yeah. Like <laughs> it was halfway awful. through the set, like we literally had to like, like stop, stop the backing tracks and being like, oh, sorry, uh, technical difficulties. Yeah. And it then, happens like, to everybody. To, yeah, it does. That was the first time that happened to us like that badly with our like current setup and uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty brutal, yeah. <laughs> Especially because it was with like the really dope bands and we wanted to like be impressive. Yeah, I have I, I have a buddy. Uh, I don't remember what band he's in. This is this was a long time ago, like two or three years ago. But he he they had a similar issue happen to them. So the drummer bought drum triggers. They would always do their tracks off a of Mac. But sometimes there's something would happen with the Mac. I mean, what happened is like a plan B, he had like, let's say it was a six song set. It would be like one, two, three, four, five, six. Trigger one was only the start of the backing tracks for track one and then two and three. And that was like his emergency if the Mac failed. Because the same thing happened to them when it was like, what do we do? What do we do? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's always good to just have a backup plan, but you kind of don't ever think about it until something goes wrong. So... <laughs> Uh, let's idea. see if you guys could, uh, if you, let's just say hypothetically a world tour falls on your lap right now, it's a hundred country world tour and you have, uh, infinite money. Where would you circle on your calendar that when we go here, we have two days off, let's go ball out at this country. What country would you circle as the one you're most looking forward to? I already know your answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know Gabe's answer. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, you, you say here it's uh, probably Japan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've wanted to visit that country. Me too. For, for life, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, I would probably. I, I don't know. I kind of have two answers. I, my first would probably be like Italy, because for me, that's like a country I've always wanted to go to and visit. Um, but a second one for different reasons would be australia um which I, I had been to australia but when i was younger and i i just i met a lot of australians and australians are hilarious and they yes, like they to are. party and have a good time and i think if we had some days off in australia we would uh we party very hard and have a good time and they're hilarious so yeah, <laughs> we we had a, a funny Australian band on a while back uh, called Lagerstein, and they they got me to drink beer out of a shoe, and now it's yeah, like, and now I do it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big thing doing shoeies. Doing the shoeies, like... we can do a shoey right now if you'd like. By the way, if you don't want to do the hot sauce, because I'm gonna stump you on this one too. Here we go. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. In the episode, the gang gets whacked. D and Charlie. Yeah. Grab something that falls off the back of a truck only to find drugs inside of that something. What fell off the truck? Um, damn it. It's not even a forward choice of team. Yeah, it might have been. <laughs> I thought I knew it's always funny. Well, um, falls off the back of a pickup truck. Can I have? All right. Can I? <laughs> Yeah, can we have a lifeline? Can we have a yeah? Do we have a or or can I just have like more context of that episode? Because I I watched it. I <laughs> okay, know I the the I, only other context it gives is it says that the thing that they open they re, it reveals that there's cocaine inside of it. It falls off the back of a truck, and it's the episode the gang gets whacked. That's all it really tells me. Um. All right. I'll give you a lifeline if you call someone, but you have to put them on speakerphone the whole time. <laughs> I don't even know where a lifeline would be. I'm trying to think of other people, but Randy, for sure. Randy. Call Randy right now. <laughs> call Randy. Okay. All, right. All right. Yeah, Randy's perfect for that. All right. We have a lifeline. We probably won't answer, but that's fine. 
Oh, what falls off the back of a truck? That's full of drugs. Oh, are you, are you really going to call him? Yeah. yeah. We're okay. Him right now. Tell me, just go like this when he answers. Yeah. Oh, I thought you knew it. I thought I did too. Come on, Randy. He's, he's probably not going to answer. <laughs> Oh, God. Hi, you've reached Randy. I'm not available to talk right now. <laughs> um, that's a stump. We're going to just call it a stump. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's the answer is speakers. Speakers fall off the truck. And they open um, yeah. up the speakers to find a bunch of cocaine. Instead of hot sauce, if you'd like, I'm going to do a shoey. If you'd rather do a shoey with me, chalk it up Australian style. We'll knock it out. Um, I'm going to play one more song of your guys's. I'm going to go with the oldest one, though. I'm going to go with Port Haven. Can you tell me about Port Haven? Um, that song is um, basically just about realizing the things that you need to uh, grow on and in um, in ways you need to change yourself for the better and whatnot. Is it, but it's another one of those that the title is not really relevant to the song? It's not relevant at all, yeah. Gotcha. In fact, none of none of them are, except for uh, Dreamscape. Hey, fellas, is there any, any curveballs or surprises we can expect on the new album? Maybe a feature, a feature uh, from somebody? You don't have to name drop who it is, just maybe yes or no, unless you want to reveal the, reveal the goods. Uh, yeah, we do have a feature on the album. Are we allowed to know who it is, or it's secretive for now? Uh, nah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll keep it a surprise. It's like it's a, it's a, I feel like that's a good answer. You gotta, you gotta leave us with the, you know, some cliffhangers and stuff. I like that. Um, right, we, yeah. we have time just for a couple more. Uh, dream car, dream car. You can, you can buy any car you want. Doesn't matter if it's a '50s vehicle. Or you just found it in perfect condition. What one vehicle are you getting? Well, I'm the resident car guy in the band. He is. So you asked the right question. Excellent. Although it's going to take me a minute because I am a car guy and there's like a million dream cars that I would have. You seem like an uh, 80s car guy for some reason. Not really. I mean, I, I'm a Beamer boy. So I have I have a Beamer that I love. Um, I'm also a Ferrari boy. Um, so, I mean, all right quickly yeah it would be a ferrari f40 for sure that's my dream car it's like a it was the last car that enzo ferrari had a say over before he died and yeah i mean it's it's basically just a go-kart like super simple super lightweight just amazing car in general it's a good answer uh probably i'm not a car guy so uh probably just like a McLaren or something like that, like something flashy looking and expensive. <laughs> That's a good answer. I, yeah. I I am a car guy. I'm. This is a tough question, as I, I feel like I could get for the price of one Ferrari. I feel like I get like six of my other dream cars, like a Chevelle SS, and uh, I wouldn't mind yeah. having. Uh, let's see, like I wouldn't mind having like an H2 Escalade. Okay. Those three total got to be the equivalent to like okay. a, a Ferrari or something like that. But my favorite of all time would be um, with Diablo VT back in like oh, the yeah. late no, 90s. The big, big, huge wing on the back. I love those. Yeah. yeah, those are ridiculous. Yeah, to be fair, before I'd ever have a Ferrari F40, I would have like a fleet of BMWs. I would have like every three series, like every M3 there ever was. So, yeah, I, I feel you there. Ironically, I was telling this story the other day to a different guest. Um, my buddy was, when he turned 16 in high school, his mom, both of his parents are doctors. They, they bought him an M5 for his first car. What? It's like, isn't that like 110,000? Something like that? We were like, dude, that's, that's not fair, man. That's not fair. I would be so pissed. Oh yeah, my God. <laughs> he, he wrecked it too, like a year later. I was about to say, I'm sure he did. That's a lot of car to deal with when you're 16. Yeah. Uh, fellas, we got time for one final question. This is a serious question. I ask everybody that's on the show this final same question. What is a piece of musical advice that somebody in the industry has told you that kind of was an eye opener? It made you take your uh, your craft a little more seriously or 
a terrible mistake you've made in your in your musical career that you don't want a band just starting out to make? That's a big question. That is a big question. Um, or like, or like, just keep to tour as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Touring as much as possible. That's definitely. Yeah, that would probably be my biggest piece of advice: is ignore everything and just tour as much as possible. Yeah. Um, that's where the real growth happens. Um. Yeah. yeah, the reality is, is you're not really going to grow as a band if you don't tour. Um, how does a band how does a band tour that maybe doesn't really have very much money, but they have the van, they have the dates lined up, but they're but they're ready to go. And maybe they only have 600 bucks in their band account. What what advice would you give them in that in that case? I mean. I don't know, you kind of just have to. I mean, it depends on everyone's own finances yeah. obviously um and it's i mean for me and for all of us it's like it's like a business you know you're you're literally investing in your business and um like yeah you have to have some money like i mean none of us are like rich at all like we're all like basically poor um but i mean like you know wh whether it be savings or like i've had like a retirement fund from this job i used to have like you just kind of have to send it um, whatever money you have. I mean, you just have to accept the fact that it's like, I'm not going to be like making a lot of money off of this, like yet, hopefully, ideally, you know, but like, I mean, and I mean, if you don't have a lot of money, then it's just like, you know, do what you can. And then you just have to be smart about like when you're on tour, you know, you can't go eat out every night. Like you got to be eating like ramen. And like, yeah, I would probably start going on like, like really small tours too. Yeah, like, uh, that, like regional tours. Yeah, like regional. Like, uh, let me let me rephrase this. I, touring is extremely important, but there is nothing more important than um, than building a fan base in your like yeah. current like area, like uh, your region. Sorry. Like for us, it would just be Colorado, like uh, like Denver and surrounding areas and whatnot and um just try to play there as much as possible and um and then yeah just uh branch out do weekenders in in city or in states that uh that surround you and um and just yeah just start small and work your way up yeah good, good stuff yeah that's some good yeah. advice i appreciate it Fellas, I, I thank you so much for coming on, giving some good advice, making some incredible music. I, literally, I've never heard a bad song from your band. Not one. I love everything you do. Guys, if you're watching, please, please support them. Hit the follow button. They absolutely deserve it. And if you get a chance to see them live on their Texas, Alabama, Louisiana, and so on run, make sure you stop by, grab some merch, support them. Hell, bring them, bring them a steak dinner while you're at it because you know they're going to be hungry. And uh, you guys are super cool, man. I appreciate you. We look forward to the new album and the new singles coming out soon. Please let me know so I can do a couple reactions for you guys. But thank you so much for doing this, for real. Yeah, no, thank yeah. you for having us. Um, and and yeah, if, if, if for anyone that follows us on social media, uh, it is or wants to follow us. Uh, we said at the beginning, but it's Castell Band, and we'll uh, you know be posting flyers for. Uh, for the tour and everything yeah. like that so if we're coming to your city then come check us out seriously yeah and like we said too there's gonna be a lot more new stuff coming out um yeah ideally next month sometime so stay tuned for that uh we're all very proud and very excited about it um it's definitely a bit different from the ep but i it's uh it's it's, it's different it's, but it's it's world it's like it's wild yeah i'm really excited to share it's it so much i love it it's so good i can't <laughs> wait i'm so excited hell yeah <laughs> gabe zach i appreciate you guys enjoy the rest of your day castell give me a hell yeah thank you fellas <laughs>